A columnist claims Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should let it be known where they stand on sus ex-puppet Ahmed Scobie's controversial new book. A columnist has urged Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to break their silence on Ahmed Scobie's book and de-condemn its poison. The Sussexes according to Sarah Vine lend credence to the notion that the poison in his book Lee D.S. back to them the more coy they are about the truth of their relationship with Scobie. In a letter to the Daily Mail Ms. Vine writes, Harry and Meghan silence is effectively an endorsement of his status as their unofficial mouthpiece and, by extension an endorsement of all the piety vicious and malicious accusations he makes. Scobie states in the English-language version that laws in the United Kingdom prevent me from reporting who they were. However, the names were included in the Dutch version and were widely featured and discussed on Sosie Al Media with Piers Morgan naming them on UK television. The Sussexes claimed in a 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey that an unidentified member of the Moner Chai but not Queen Elizabeth II or her husband Prince Philip Duke of Edinburgh had raised conch urns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Scobie claims in his book Endgame that the comment about Prince Archie which has been widely interpreted as racist was made by two people not one, as Meghan claimed. Before Meghan and Prince Harry launched their attacks on the royal family King Charles chose to say nothing and turn the other way. Instead according to journalist Ahmed Scobie's book Endgame Charles buried his head in the sand and was stubborn. In it he claims that the king had the opportunity to mend any rifts that had developed but he chose he not to do so prior to the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry's criticism of the firm in their Netflix documentary and in Harry's memoir Spare.